Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is a morning market prep video for October 22nd, 2021. Well, my goodness, those bulls are just absolutely relentless, pushing and pushing and pushing. And as you can see this morning, we are pushing for a potential record high open in the diamonds. And the SPY even looks like it could reach up there yet this morning. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in, buckle up, let's get ready for the Friday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Top of the morning, everyone. I truly, truly appreciate you all being here today. Thank you so much. Let's take a look at these charts, see if we can gain some information about how we may want to approach the market for today. I got to tell you, I, I, I am just astounded um, by the bullishness um, in this market. Um, even in the light of some major tech disappointments, there seems to be um, absolutely no stopping these bulls at this point. It's just buy something and not worry about any of the potential ramifications of such an extended move. So we're looking at um, um, big gains um, in these indexes and we're breaking through resistance levels here in the chart. Notice that we're going to peak up here, at least at the moment, we indicate a new record high in the diamonds this morning as we continue to just stretch and stretch and stretch to the to the upside. Um, yesterday we had um, IBM disappoint and Big Blue brought down um, the diamonds just for a little bit and then buyers just came rushing back in to push everything back right back up and near those record highs yesterday so as we look at this chart i do continue to warn and i want to continue to warn that we are extremely extended in the short term of these charts but i guess um, no price matters um, at this point so let's keep in mind that if we can continue to push up and there's no reason to believe it looking at this chart that we can't continue to push on up but there is some danger here if you are a buyer late stage in this late stage rally just be really careful pullbacks into support levels could be pretty painful if that does occur and remember we left an awful lot of gaps behind in this rally so um, at some point in time um, we may catch um, the bear, or excuse me, the bulls may have to catch a breath, giving the bears an opportunity to push back down a little bit. So just watch carefully for that. Very, very bullish here. And there just seems to be just no concern um, whatsoever that uh, about inflation or supply chains or anything like that. It's just buy something. Let's take a look at the SPY, SPY. Also stretching up here, notice we have an opportunity for a new record high open um, on the S&P 500. Um, just continuing to push and push and push to the upside. So let's watch that as we challenge this resistance level in the chart and also realize that any kind of a rest or pullback to find some support could be rather relatively painful. So be careful chasing so late stage in this rally just in case we do happen to stumble along the way. And uh, again, just extremely bullish as we push to the upside. So there seems there's nothing in this chart right now that su suggests that we're going to stop. Um, seven straight days. Can we make it eight? Why not? Let's take a look at the QQQ. QQQ had a really bullish day yesterday with huge anticipation of earnings and what's really kind of remarkable this morning is though we're gapping a little bit lower here this morning we have been buying this up all morning even as we see um, big disappointments in intel and snap snap indicated like 22 percent lower this morning there seems to be no stopping um the the bullish march here so um a big day yesterday in the nasdaq pushing back up notice that we have breached through this resistance level in the chart 
and we're continuing to fire on up and we're going to challenge levels up in here in the QQQ. They're uh, big anticipation um, for the tech giants next week. Um, I think there's just this expectation they're just going to blow out results and it certainly is possible that they do that but I think we're starting to see some indication in tech that there may be a little bit of uncertainty in that. So be careful chasing in again in the late stage of this move. Watch these resistance levels in the chart as we push up. And let's keep in mind that pullbacks could be pretty substantial to find price support levels in the chart. So just kind of keep that in mind. One of the things I mentioned in the blog this morning is although we're showing very, so much bullishness, I would be more of a profit taker today than I would be a buyer. That's just me personally. You guys do what you feel is right. But for me, I would be more of a profit taker as we continue to extend. And I'll show you some other reasons for that here in just a moment. Let's take a look at IWM. Now, Russell had a pretty good day yesterday and it popped and pushed up. And then we kind of pulled back from that upside resistance level in the chart that I've been marking out pulled back down. Now this morning we're trying to fire on up through that and gap up through that level. So it, we are potentially pushing through this downtrend resistance in the Russell. And now the question will be, can we hold it as support? Um, we do have these price resistance levels and honestly we have about a year's worth of congestion in this area that still challenges this. But as we continue to push um, energy sector and financial sector higher and higher and higher, then hey, we can keep pushing the Russell up. So keep a close eye on that. Remember, it is important that even though we, we may be pushing through or breaking through, what's really important and once we achieve a, a downturn break is that we can prove to hold it as support. It's one thing to break through. It's another thing to break through and then reverse and fail at that level. So watch those um, areas closely. Then let's take a look at our VIX. Our VIX yesterday started up for a little while and then by the end of the day, continue to move lower as fear continues to drop out. And I, I continue to think this could be a little bit of complacency as we see supply chain bottlenecks worsening. Um, as a matter of fact, um, uh, um, we had notification from a hospital um, that they're looking for donations of crutches because all crutches have been back ordered because we have such an aluminum shortage out there um, and that's due to the magnesium shortage required to make aluminum from China so issues are cropping up all kinds of places um, but you know um, there seems to be no fear about that at the moment so watch that closely and I do think there is a little bit of complacency building into this chart let's take a look at our T2122 now this is what I was suggesting some more evidence of a bit of a problem T2122 continues to remain buried up here in that bearish reversal zone as we continue to push up we're showing an extreme overextension and we're holding up here. Now, um, it is certainly possible if we can find enough evidence of bullishness in today's earnings reports and economic reports, well, we still have a little tiny bit of room that we could stretch up here to the upside. So there's nothing in this chart that necessarily says we have to fall, but I wanna point out just how far we've extended and if we do fall, how painful that would be. So be careful chasing in such a late stage move of this uh, upside, upside trend. Let's take a look at um, our T2107. Now T2107, actually a little interesting yesterday, it tipped a tiny little bit lower yesterday, but we're still holding above this support area in the chart and breaking that downtrend. 48% of the stocks are above their 200-day moving average. So we're improving 
um, substantially here. So let's watch that closely. If we can continue to gain some ground in these stocks, that will certainly help an awful lot in lifting these indexes back higher. But really, it's it's the big techs right now. It's the big techs doing the majority of the lifting. So let's just keep a close eye on this. If these can continue to lift slightly up, that's going to help that market. And then if we take a look at a T2101, we had just a little bit of an increase in um, breadth yesterday, and that's because we had that little bit of bearish activity in there as well. But, you know, nothing major going on in here. We continue to remain in this big old downtrend here in T2101, just wandering around in this big wedging pattern. So um, watch that closely. Let's take a look at, at um, our economic calendar for today. In our economic calendar, we've got a couple things that we'll want to pay attention to, something that's been added as well. Notice we have, um, whoa, excuse me, my, um, there we go, that snapped over to the other side uh, to another screen. There we go. We have um, a PMI composite number this morning that could certainly move us around. We want to watch that closely. We, we've largely ignored any bearish um, indicators in, in um, the market. So, uh, you know, if it's good, awesome. Um, that could help continue to push us higher. And then let's keep in mind, we've got um, Fed speakers and even Jerome Powell's gonna be out there wagging his jaw today. So watch that carefully. Um, if we learn anything more about taper or whatever, that could um, have an effect on the market. So watch that close. Then let's take a look at that earnings calendar. Our earnings calendar today, we've got a little bit of a break. Um, short of 40 companies reporting today and if you want to take a look at the notables you'll go back to the morning blog and you can see here in the morning blog i have all of those listed right in here so um, take a look at that morning blog this morning you'll click that link just below the title of the video that will take you back to that morning blog and um, you can catch all of the notables i'll cover a couple here this morning we're going to hear from clf CLF Cleveland Cliffs they were uh, purporting this morning and we've been seeing a little bit of an improvement here in steel just recently keep an eye on that a little higher low holding some price support and we can see that bullishness coming in here this morning as well as a downtrend break and there's that tried and true pattern that I have been talking about in these charts as stocks come up out of the bottom so watch that carefully right here by the way guys I'm finally I re-recorded a video I'm finally going to have a video coming out on this tried and true pattern and a way that you can find them um, so watch for that video to drop here anytime um, soon. So watch carefully in here as Cleveland Cliffs tries to move up. Nice pattern in that chart. We're also going to hear from American Express. American Express has been just outperforming remarkably Visa and MasterCard, setting new record highs here. And looks like we're ready to gap up this morning here on those earnings reports. Um, we're going to hear from Honeywell today. It looks like Honeywell, wow kind of some volatility in that earnings report. Um, still in a downtrend, so watch that one closely. And last but not least, I'm gonna mention STX. Keep an eye on STX. It's been in an ugly, ugly downtrend. And um, I'm guessing it has something to do with those semiconductor chip uh, problems. Um, and um, we'll want to keep a close eye on that. So let's take a look. And by the way, remember, click that link if you want to catch the full list of notables. Let's take a look at um, some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, do me that quick favor again. If this is the first time you've seen these videos. Click that thumbs up or click that uh, subscribe button. Also click that bell icon when it pops up. 
click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment, and that helps me continue to grow the channel. And thank you so much to everyone. I truly, truly appreciate it. Like I said, we're moving toward 25,000 um, in subscribers. And what I've said before is I am going to be who, somebody. These aren't finished yet, as you can see. I've got the stumps yet to finish up. But um, I do some wood carving, and um, I'm going to send um, someone, once we reach 25,000, a um, personally carved um, Christmas tree with a little bit of battery lights on it um, for your Christmas decorations coming up. So um, keep an eye on that. And if you can help me out by sharing these videos, um, if you can help me out um, by commenting and, and um, um, engaging in the video, that helps an awful lot. Thank you so much to everyone who has. And also I, I've got to give a big shout out uh, once again to folks that continue to support the channel through the Buy Me A Coffee link, um, also below the title of the video. Honestly, guys, you humble me every day. I, I truly, truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at the stocks setting up. And please keep in mind, guys, that these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. You have to do your own due diligence and be very, very focused in on the risk of each and every trade. Let's take a look at some stocks that are really starting to perk up stocks that got sold off pretty heavily and now coming back around. Take a look at Lulu. Lulu popping back up through some resistance here in the chart. Had a good strong move yesterday. Any consolidation, any rest up here, looks to me like it can set up the opportunity to move on through and maybe test some new highs here in Lulu, showing quite a little bit of strength. Keep an eye on that. I think we should also keep an eye on um, Alcoa. There has been all of this talk about uh, aluminum shortages, and that could actually help Alcoa uh, profit-wise if they can start passing on some of those um, higher costs in uh, their product. So let's take a look and keep an eye on this. Um, Alcoa pulling back the last few days, but we're running into some price support. See if there's an opportunity that we can gain some energy right off of this trend and see if we can um, start moving on higher. So watch that closely in Alcoa. I, I think um, I keep mentioning energy stocks. And I am just astounded that energy just continues to run and run and run, and, and even more astounded that the market doesn't seem to care. Um, as energy prices continue to go up, it continues to put pressure on those, um, well, on inflation. Um, but we don't seem to care at the moment. And as this continues to push, it is rather remarkable um, how strong uh, these stocks are. So take a look at some stocks like um, RIG. RIG is an oil exploration company. Keep an eye on that. We've been consolidating out toward this trend. If oil is going to stay high, I can only assume that we're going to start um, doing a whole lot more in the exploration uh, to find more of it. So watch that carefully. Um, rig rig um, could be setting up here in the chart. And um, take a look at Valero. Now Valero just reported um, earnings um, here yesterday and showed bullishness. So our refining capacity or our refiners seem to be doing quite well with these rising prices. Sometimes that's a little bit surprising to me as well because oftentimes refiners can be punished a little bit because of the higher prices. But right now, doesn't seem to matter. We're continuing to push through, holding some support levels in here, and we're headed up to new highs in the chart. I certainly would watch that carefully as we rally up into those areas. Let's take a look at some of the um, solar stuff stocks. Take a look at FSLR. Solar um, setting up here pretty decently. Notice we have an interesting cup and handle pattern here in First Solar. Interesting chart and as we move out here and consolidate toward this trend, there is that opportunity we could find those bulls in here pushing on through to the upside. Keep a close eye on that. That cup and handle is pretty interesting in First Solar. Take a look at TAN, the solar ETF. Solar ETF holding up quite nicely. Breaking this downtrend and notice we held that higher low right in here 
And now we're starting to make that move higher where we pull back, rest, and find more buyers. And um, hey, who's to know? Maybe we can just keep ripping to the upside here. When it comes to um, um, these renewable energies, take a look at plug power. Now plug all of a sudden just shot up and um, it's rested here against this price resistance area in the chart. So let's keep a close eye on this. If this continues to rest, consolidate in here, that could certainly set up that opportunity where we could finally pop on through this level and keep moving. So keep an eye on that. You might want to also um, keep an eye on Ballard Power. Ballard is another one of those fuel cell technologies and as we hold against this resistance, watch for that opportunity that we can pop through and then start um, really making some ground uh, to the upside here in um, that chart. Um, let's take a look at um, stock like YY. Now YY, I've been keeping a close eye on this. And you guys know I've talked about this one before. This was my original alert here in the chart. And notice we've just kind of ground sideways here um, recently. Keep a close eye on that. We're reaching out here toward this trending area. That would be about the place where we I would be watching for that potential we could engage and get going a little bit more. That's assuming that the bulls can continue to push things up in the market. So watch those close. Um, you could also take a look at some of the um, defensive sector type stocks. Notice that Altria. Altria has moved up pretty strongly here just recently. We're pushing into a price resistance level here in this chart, but we're not giving it up. So let's watch in here as we might engage this trend in here and push on through that level. Keep an eye on that chart. Um, also take a look at PepsiCo. My goodness, PepsiCo pushing up strongly. New record highs here in the stock. Had a little bit of a pullback yesterday, a little bit of a punishing pullback as a matter of fact. But let's keep an eye on this. If we can hold this price support up in this area, hold these highs, then we certainly have that opportunity we could continue to push on higher. So there's a few stocks for you to keep an eye on. I gotta tell you guys, I would be really, really careful right now with uh, tech stocks. Take a look at Facebook is getting punished today from um, that ugly, um, ugly report from Snap and Intel um, moving lower this morning. So I would be really, really careful um, um, with some of these tech stocks in the anticipation of all these earnings next week. Um, because there is a little bit of uncertainty starting to form in this. And if we happen to get that QQQ moving lower, that could make it very, very difficult for the overall indexes to hold up. So watch that carefully if this starts to falter. But if they continue to push up, hey, let's just keep that party going like it's 1999. There's no reason to worry about it. Everyone have a great day. Have a wonderful weekend. And I'll see you right back here bright and early Monday morning. Wish you all the best.